Johnny Depp is widely regarded as one of the most successful actors of his generation. He made a fortune playing iconic characters such as Captain Jack Sparrow and the Mad Hatter. He has even been dubbed as one of Hollywood's highest paid actors. Despite this, Johnny recently testified in court that he lost $650 million during his career. He claimed that he first learned about the scandal during a meeting with an accountant in 2016. He also discovered that taxes had not been paid on his behalf for 17 years, and he owed IRS more than $100 million as a result. In a London court, Johnny Depp lost a high-profile defamation case involving his ex-wife, Amber Heard. On Monday, the 58-year-old actor began filming a sequel in Fairfax, Virginia, as part of his efforts to disprove career-damaging allegations that he abused Heard during their three-year marriage. A court order issued before jury selection stated that fans of the two celebrities were not permitted to camp on courthouse grounds and that litigants and their legal teams in this trial will not post for pictures or sign autographs in the courthouse or on courthouse grounds. Any violation of the order would be treated as a contempt of court. The judge ruled that the article in question was substantially true in the London libel action that Dapp brought against the Sun after it described him as a wife-beater. During the trial, Heard testified that she was fearful for her life during several encounters with the actor. Dapp was denied the right to appeal. In Dapp's new legal action, which could last six weeks, the actor and his lawyers must meet a higher burden of proof, demonstrating that Heard not only defamed him, but did so maliciously, according to U.S. law. Depp's lawyers claim Heard staged an elaborate hoax in order to ruin Depp's career, which prompted her to file a $100 million counterclaim. They intend to present witness testimony as well as review text and photographs, all of which will be broadcast live on court TV. If the suit is successful, Depp's lawyers have stated that they will ask the judge, Penny Askeret, to award $50 million in damages. Heard issued a statement to her 4.1 million Instagram followers last week, saying she was still paying a price for speaking out against men in power. Hopefully, when this case is over, I and Johnny will be able to move on, she wrote. The trial comes at a particularly sensitive time for Dapp, who has seen film roles dry up, as well as for the U.S. film industry, which was recently tarnished during the Oscars ceremony when Will Smith slapped host Chris Rock on stage, despite efforts at behavioral and representational reform. For Dapp, who is one of the top 10 highest gross movie stars of all time, the trial may be his last chance to save his career. He was earning $75 million per year in 2010 after transitioning from the brooding teen drama of 21 Jump Street to lead roles in light entertainment blockbusters such as the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. His ability to almost guarantee a big box office means studios are willing to pay whatever it takes to get a little bit of the Dapp magic, Forbes said at the time. However, Dapp's image was tarnished by stories of off-screen excess and his star power was all but extinguished during the London High Court action. He was just, however, have a voice-over role in the upcoming Puffin's Impossible animation. The Hollywood Reporter quoted a studio source in 2020 as saying, You simply can't work with him now. He's a radioactive man. Dior, the French luxury house, was heavily chastised for continuing to use Dap as the face of its Sauvage fragrance. Following the UK ruling, Heard's lawyers filed a motion to dismiss Dapp's claim in Virginia. Judge Ascarate denied the motion, stating that it would set a dangerous precedent because libel laws in the United States and the United Kingdom differ significantly. However, as the trial begins, Heard's lawyers are likely to invoke a Virginia law that provides individuals with immunity from civil liability in certain circumstances, including defamation based solely on statements made to third parties about matters of public concern that would be protected under the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Elaine Breedhoft, Heard's lawyer, has argued that the article in question addressed a very serious public concern, domestic violence. 
Dapp's attorneys have argued that the loss does not apply because Hurd's allegations are about Dapp's alleged personal behavior. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Are you a fan of Johnny Dapp? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.